Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhehre Bagga and let's today focus on the middle game. Now middle game is always important because opening is something you can memorize, you can get hab habitual to. But then middle game positions are something which are mostly unique. And now how do you deal with them? Of course by practicing. So yeah, let's begin some practice today with the puzzles on Lee Chess. And let's see what we can manufacture out of it as a learning. Okay, so this one, right now my knight is under attack. I'm just trying to figure out what all things are being attacked first of all, so that we can defend or then we can think of attacking as well. So knight is being attacked. Uh, and that's attacked twice actually, but it's defended once. So what can we do here? How is rook coming here but then bishop takes would lose the queen because it's a check as well uh, rook is attacking the h7 so if we could somehow use that as well uh, that should be good so to use that i think what if i take the pawn on b7 i'm threatening checkmate so my opponent has to deal with that first and then maybe I can double up as well if required. Uh, that, that looks like a plan. Yeah, let's go with this, I think. Yeah, that was nice. Now bishop comes in. So I can take this free bishop. I'm still attacking h7. So the puzzle is solved. So that's how you should think in the middle game. Identify the weaknesses in, in the open structure. Identify the weaknesses in your structure and then go ahead from that of course i can also be wrong many a times but i'm just trying to present my thought process here at least for now okay uh so what is lying here so first of all what i see is not what my opponent is going through right now but i have a last rank weakness as well and thankfully there is no piece from my opponent that is going directly to the last rank that's one good thing uh now if i take the pawn with the rook uh it's a check which my opponent will save and what is the counter attack from there how do i proceed from there is the question if i take again then again my opponent takes with the queen and I'm down a rook and this pawn can never be promoted then. So that should not be the ideal way. So if I take with the queen and if my opponent gets the rook in between, then I can give a check and that would be made. So taking with the queen makes more sense, at least for now. But I consider only one scenario where my opponent gets the rook in between. Is there other option? Yes, my opponent can move the king, but then also I'll place my queen on the h1 and that should be checkmate. So I think queen takes pawn is more sensible here. I'll take, open moves, and that should be checkmate. Yep, solid it pretty nice and slow and steady. So take your time, understand the situation, and then you can go through. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now this bishop defends the pawn backwards. Bishop's reverse diagonal is always tricky. I always say that and because I have missed that a lot many times before. So this is one trick which I have to be careful about. Uh, it also is defending the pawn right now. My knight, I don't have much pieces attacking the king so I cannot go for a quick checkmate. Uh, but what I can do maybe is place my knight over to g5 and then I'm threatening checkmate over f7. That would force my opponent to take my knight or just move the pawn forward. In that case, I can take the bishop and win a piece. Um, yeah, this looks like most correct solution for now because placing my bishop here, attacking the queen doesn't make sense. Queen can sidestep and then Queen exchange is not something I'm looking forward at. Uh, there is no checkmate threat because my bishop is defending. Uh, so everything looks fine. So I think I should go with the knight. Yep, that was the right move. Now bishop comes in. 
Now, uh, there can be a couple of things that we can do about this situation. To begin with, what if I place bishop here, but then queen takes is bad. If I, I can take the bishop as well, but uh, as soon as I take the bishop, my opponent can take my knight. No, can't take my knight actually. My opponent can't take the knight. So shall I be taking the bishop? I can take this. I'm still attacking the bishop, but I'm not threatening checkmate anymore. Okay, this is one way. What is next? If I move my king side step sideways, like to f1, then what's the threat? There is no such threats. And I'm still threatening checkmate. I'm still threatening bishop takes. I think both of them make sense to me right now. Maybe queen takes is not threatening checkmate. So it's a bad move. Maybe as per the computer. Both are winning though. Okay. Um, I think I go here. Opponent takes. Uh, just trying to sack a piece. I take. But at least my knight is defended. So I don't think there's much trouble. Let's move the king. No? Okay. Taking the bishop was best. Yeah. Let's see what is the difference between both of them. White is winning in this case. And if I move... Oh, there can be a mate because after here I take and then queen comes on the board. I miss this part. Got that. Okay. Now it's another thing which is hitting my knight. The diagonal is always nice with the bishop. Uh, rook is in front of the queen. All good positions to be in but what is that winning move here what's that impactful thing queen goes here is a check and then my opponent moves to either this or this couple of squares and then do i have a follow-up to that maybe queen comes back Mm, nothing, nothing of that sort, I think. I don't know. Little tricky, this one. Um, what if I give a check? I think it has to begin with a check, first of all. There is no such debate about that. Hitting, or maybe I should just keep my knight here, attacking the queen and the pawn. And then maybe take the pawn. No, that won't work. I think I should begin with the check first. Trying to simplify stuff. <laughs> this is the right move I know. So what is the next one? Next one is to move the knight, of course. If I go here with the knight, a couple of attackers. Doesn't look like the right move. Is there something I can take and then fork? Yep, that is the right move then. Check and then fork and then take the queen. Yippee. There are always folks <laughs> happening when the knights are around. So just had to look for forward to one. Okay, so now I have troubles. That's the last thing I was hoping for. I'll quickly connect my hotspot. You can skip in the video for 5-10 seconds and that should be fine. Yeah, we are connected back. Okay. So what is it? Um, I have a rook which can give a check but then my opponent can escape. So not a point. I have a couple of pawns that are being attacked. Um, I have to make sure that one of these uh, is promoted eventually. I think that should be the puzzle theme here. 
Now, which one should I take with is the question. Um, I think this is still guarded with the knight. So I should take with this. And then I can proceed. Is proceeding the winning move? If I proceed once, my opponent cannot go here. Can only come back somewhere. But there's no... Okay, let's say it attacks knight. And I move forward. Uh, I move. My opponent tries to attack the knight. Which is also attacking... And then, and then I move forward. My opponent can keep the rook on the file and maybe then I can give a check and then promote to queen. That is one way. The other way is I take on the pawn. My opponent cannot do anything about it anyway. Can go here. I push forward. Uh, if I push forward, he takes. So that should not be winning. So I should proceed with the pawn. Yep, that was winning. So my calculation was, if this happens, I can still proceed. And if this comes in, I have a check coming in. And as soon as the opponent moves, I get the queen on the board. And I, stuff can be exchanged. And then I'm a piece up. And these two pawns can, of course, be controlled. So thought process, again, uh, taking with the right pawn so that the pawn is also becoming a passer at the end. Okay. Let's see this one now. Uh, I cannot move the pawn forward. That's first thing. I And I should be uh, ready with the discoveries after the rook moves. That can be a check coming in. That would be a nasty one. And a mate can soon follow too. So I have to be precise here with my peace movement. Queen is defending the pawn as well. So uh, that is a good place to be in. Uh, there is last rank weakness for the opponent. But is there a way to exploit it is something I doubt. Um, what we can do here? Bishop. No sacrifices happening here. Doesn't impact the game situation, I think. Maybe I should improve the position of my queen. Maybe to f3, attacking the knight, so that knight goes back. But if knight goes back, do I get anything out of it? I Do I get anything out of it? Not really. Um, there has to be some good move here, which I'm missing out. There is some good move here. Rook, rook, sacking the rook doesn't make sense. Uh, my queen is pretty much inactive, I would say. It is hitting this square, but how do I control this further for a checkmate? Bishop cannot come here. Sorry, that's not bishop. This is the bishop. And I cannot, certainly cannot play pawn forward. So I have to defend this. Queen comes here, then attacks the knight, but then knight can, of course, go back. And the situation is solid. So there is something definitely here, which I'm not able to see. Okay. What should I do here? Pawn forward. Now my open can take easily. Um, rook can go somewhere. Rook behind the pawn and then push the pawn forward. Knight. There is some move here. <laughs> which I am definitely not able to see. Can happen sometimes. Maybe let's go here, attacking, pinning the pawn as well. Now, this is a tricky puzzle for me. Okay, I'll place my bet on queen over here, c7, and that's wrong. What is the solution? Queen takes the pawn. 
opponent cannot take back because there's last rank weakness okay queen takes pawn is winning as for the computer because i'm gonna take the queen next and why is my opponent not saving okay he cannot save the la otherwise queen goes and there's checkmate thread as well eventually with all my pieces eyeing okay that was something i don't think i should be able to see uh, that was a tricky one for me for sure okay let's go ahead with the next one okay i'm in this one i'm just having have to take the bishop of course otherwise i cannot win this now there are uh, the opponent pawn is like four steps away and i am like one two three four five steps away but i will come with a check too my opponent will not uh but it's my turn so after this my opponent has four moves and i have one two three four moves so i think i should go with that because if i go here my opponent can come in front maybe can go this side as well oh this looks tricky this is a typical end game which can come anytime so a couple of options here first i go here then my opponent if decides to go with the pawn then then it's uh, i can stop it for some time and eventually it would be a draw if i ignore the threat that my opponent is coming uh, for a queen and i play pawn for myself then again we both are four squares away and i get a queen with a check and there is a rank uh, file control as well because of kings very close to each other so i can get a queen check maybe uh after the diagonal check is covered my opponent will have to somehow go in the same file then probably go to the other and then i can probably exchange so i think uh h5 should be winning here no okay and king this looks like a draw to me i don't know if this and i go here open place pawn forward i try to prevent that uh now my opponent has a choice to stick it or has a choice to go here if he goes there then i can take this one fox in the chicken coop okay this should be working let's go to the next one and a couple of bad ones last last two were bad but that's okay again uh check and then opponent can go here and then i can give another check and somehow hunt the king down this looks kind of a simple one not sure what's the trick behind it of course i'm not trapping anything right away i think i should go ahead with the check first or maybe go with the queen and then threaten checkmate yeah this looks more solid i'm not letting my opponent escape but then if rook here then of course it's checkmate if queen moves uh, the bishop moves the queen goes oh but then bishop is defending this so can i play pawn forward is one question what if my opponent takes and i take and then rook comes in oh that would be ugly so i think i should go ahead with rook check and then maybe come with the queen next because if i get the rook back up opponent has the same repetition happening queen can come in for now but what's the fall off from there is something we will have to take a look at or do i have something else here check and then check and open moves up then there is nothing more i feel pieces are less here okay maybe i go here and after my open goes here i take the pawn and then i'm threatening to take on the rook next 
maybe that's the way no not the right way um taking on the rook yep and then oh i take the other rook and that's winning okay that was again easy which i messed up so i should practice a lot more of these then okay uh, i have a knight check coming um because then i'm threatening checkmate yeah this this should be fine at least yeah thankfully now the pawn is being under threat as well if i go here my opponent moves uh so this is winning right yeah queen queen over to e7 is winning queen e7 king cannot go here bishop controls it cannot take the pawn cannot go down this is guarded then queen can come in between and then i can have a deflection and take on the queen that's not checkmate but yes i can win it from there so queen comes in and then the deflection this is called the deflection technique where you deflect the opponent's piece somewhere and then take on the other piece so i deflected and took on the queen i'm back to 2000 plus in puzzles i think i should hold on for today and we can continue tomorrow or maybe some other day uh, going through a rough patch as well i would say otherwise it was close to 250 or otherwise anyway i enjoyed some puzzles i hope there was something that you learned out of it the deflection technique uh the pawn and end game uh so a lot of stuff which you can take out as a learning i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with another interesting video of mine thank you so much for your time take care bye bye